Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will learn how to uninstall Tomcat application server from Avaya Aura Experience Portal 6.x. We will assume that the application server is co-resident with Experience Portal Manager in this case. Before moving on with the demonstration, let's have a look at what all will be impacted by uninstalling Tomcat application server. All the applications deployed on the co-resident application server are deleted. All the components or libraries deployed on co-resident application servers are deleted. All the customized configuration information will be lost. All the logs under application server directory will be gone. The application server menu will not be available any longer in EPN. So make sure that you take a backup of required configuration files, data files, logs, web applications, etc. before uninstalling the application server from a co-resident server. Login into Avaya or Experience Portal Manager's command line access on Linux with root privileges. First of all, we have to check the status of app server service running on this system by issuing command slash spin slash service app server status. The output shows that this service is running on the system. Let's try to stop this by issuing command slash spin slash service app server stop. This command will stop the app server service running on the system. Now we have to change directory to dollar app server underscore home where app server underscore home is an environment variable pointing to the installation directory of tomcat application server on the system so this is the directory that it is pointing to now we have to do change directory dot dot which means we'll come back to a parent directory of tomcat which is app server here list here using command ls hyphen ltr if we see here, there is a Tomcat soft link available. We have to remove this soft link first by issuing command rm f tomcat. Now this soft link is gone. After this, we have to remove Tomcat directory itself from the server by issuing command rm rf apache tomcat 6.0.32, which is the Tomcat version installed on this server. After this, we have to open file slash opt slash tomcat slash tomcat slash lib slash config voice portal dot properties file. In this file, we have to modify the value of enable local app server to false, which is presently set to true as we had a co-resident application server running on the system. After making these changes, save the changes in the file and close the file by issuing command colon wq. The next step is to unregister this service by issuing command check config hyphen hyphen del app server. And after that, we have to remove the application server service script by entering command rm slash etc slash init dot d app server. Once we issue this command, it asks for a confirmation. Enter Y for yes, and the service will be deleted. Now the next step is to remove app server scripts from the system by issuing command rm slash etc slash profile dot d app server dot star. As soon as you hit enter, it asks for a confirmation of removing appserver.csh as well as appserver.sh. Enter Y for both of them so that they can be deleted from the system permanently. Now let's verify if app server service is still available on the system or not by issuing command slash spin slash service app server status. The output shows that this service is no more recognized by the server. But still, to make the changes effective permanently on the system, we will have to restart the VPMS service once by issuing command slash spin slash service 
VPMS restart. And once this restart is completed, we no longer have application server running on the system. So this completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We welcome questions, comments and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For related information and more details, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.